Don't mistake discernment. Come on, listen to me. Don't mistake discernment and true revelation of God for every hippity hop that comes down the trail. You hear what I'm saying? Just because something it gets into your eye gates, just because something shows up on your Facebook feed, just because something shows up on your YouTube feed, just because, oh, that must be from God. That must be from God. That must, no. And listen, I don't, I'm not trying to be mean or offended or anything about, you know, people coming in the chat and going, what about this? What about this? It could be this. It could be that. That's why I have three moderators and I run a tight ship because the, the kingdom doorway is very narrow and we have to, we have to make sure we clean away a lot of the clutter. We stay focused on exactly what the Holy Spirit is showing us right now to stay focused on, right? And I have to be a good coach and a good teacher and a good mentor. And my moderators are very good because let me tell you something. I have people coming to me crying, crying in confusion right now. Listen to me, everybody. I'm a leader. I'm a minister. I'm a coach and a mentor. And I have people coming to me crying crying. I'm so confused. I don't know what truth is. I'm so confused. Oh, Anna Maria, I'm so confused. They're confused. They're weeping. You know, maybe you're going to all of these truthers and research and you're like, hey, this, that, and you feel pretty cool about it. But what about all the other people on here that I, I have a flock to protect here. I want to be a good shepherd. So we can't, we got to make sure that, that People don't come in here and start going, what about this? What about that? What about this? What about that? Because I'm trying to protect my flock from confusion because I have people here that aren't strong in the Holy Spirit yet that come to me and reach out to my assistant Jennifer and say, I'm so confused. What's true? I don't know. They're weeping and they're crying and they're upset. Why? Because they got 50 million people they're watching all these people. And the first thing we ask them, we say, how many prophets are you following on YouTube and Facebook? How many telegram channels are you listening to? Narrow it down. Let the Lord prune it back. Because all it is, is whose voices are you listening to? We got a prophetic word for 2023. Psalm 23, sit at the feet of the shepherd. Do not listen to the voice of a stranger. Only listen to the voice of your Lord and King, your master, Jesus Christ. Get quiet with him. I will not listen to the voice of a stranger. I will only listen to my Lord's voice. And in 2020, the night of the 2020 election, the Lord said to me, Anna Marie, I don't want you listening to anybody else. No other prophets, nothing. Only listen to me. So you're hearing directly. Now, listen, I'm not trying to say that I'm all that in a bag of chips. It's just, I have a flock to protect here. We've got people that aren't so strong in the Holy Spirit yet that are seeking guidance from God, from the Holy Spirit, which I have been charged to do here, okay? And it's my responsibility to keep them, what? In clarity and faith so they don't, Reach out to me and my sister, all confused, listening to 50 million voices, not knowing what is true, not knowing what is from God. So we're very careful what we allow on the chat. It's just strong leadership. It's just good leadership. You wouldn't walk into a church when a pa pastor is preaching and start taking over the podium while that pastor is preaching and teaching and prophesying. And bringing a word from the Lord, he go, hey, wait a minute over here. Oh, wait, oh, I don't want it. Right? You wouldn't do that. Let me tell you, Jesus was pretty adamant about that. When he was preaching and he was teaching a parable, he was giving a prophetic word, he would say, verily, verily, I say unto you, he that has ears, let him hear. Pay attention. Don't be distracted. Focus on the word of the Lord. And there were still people that got confused. And why did Jesus curse the fig tree? Because it was all leaves and no fruit. It was a bunch of talk, a bunch of flapping leaves and no fruit of the Holy Spirit. There's a lot of talk out there, but what is of God and what is not? 
And I say this with love to all of you. And I'm not offended by anybody. I answer to one person, and that's Almighty God, my Lord Jesus Christ. And if we all start doing more of that, right, and we start waiting for confirmation of everything we read, everything we see, everything we hear, and say, Lord Jesus, if there's things that I shouldn't be seeing or reading, if I've got too much going on, if right, if I, I don't want to cause anybody else to stumble, because then you're held accountable by the Lord. It's a, you, it's, it, you're free to do that and start revealing all the things that you've been shown. That it's your responsibility to keep people from being confused and stay in the truth of God. Because while you're in my pasture here with my sheep, they're going to be protected. And I want to protect you too. I say with love. What do y'all say in here? Any other comments? Becky Nowak, you are so right, Anna Marie. She was watching so many prophets in so many churches online. She has totally cut out a lot on both. She wasn't in confusion, but it seemed like all she was doing was listening to the prophecies of the church services. She's feeling discernment in certain things and people she hasn't before. She believes the Holy Spirit is guiding her, and she is thankful, right? We must continue to prune, right? The gate to the kingdom is a very narrow gate, right? We must continue to prune and say, Lord, what is it that you want me to be focusing on right now? What is it that you want me to write and, and continue to give me revelation? Now, I gave you this teaching today about the Tartans to encourage you to encourage you and to confirm all the prophetic words that we've had over the last two years, because this is Monday, this is prophetic updates and prophetic confirmation. And that's what we did. Amen. That's right, Joe McNeil. You got to guard your gates. You got to guard your ear gates, your eye gates. Hallelujah. Thank you. Jennifer Hendricks, she appreciates the strong leadership and running a tight ship. We all need to do, have discernment to help those coming into understanding to wake up. Lord, make us fruit bearers in Jesus' mighty name. And listen, as we continue to pray for discernment, we ask the Lord, what is the one major thing you want me listening to right now, Lord? What is the one major thing you want me to pay attention to? Narrow it down for me, Lord, because the kingdom is a narrow door, a narrow gate, right? Right. And we got to keep pruning back so what we can become more fruitful, right? And when we have fruit, we have what? More good seed. We want more good seed. So we don't want to cause people to trip up because we've got all this coming in. No, we want to just have these one or two, you know, this good seed that we're planting that will bring good fruit, right? And always bring it back to the word of God. Amen. Joe McNeil, she went down so many rabbit holes and got jacked up. The Lord has narrowed it down to only a few. Praise Jesus. Amen. Amen. Of course, I say this with love, my friends. Matthew 7, 13. Enter by the narrow gate, for the gate is wide and the way is easy. It's the, the way is easy that leads to destruction. And those who enter by it are many. You know, this is why. Ask the Lord to down. Right? Woo! Come on. And I told you, we're, the, Lord, the Lord gave me the word culmination. We're coming to the narrow point. We're coming to that, that, that peak, that, right? That narrow point. And come on, it's time to really focus. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And I'm trying to teach you all about ministry here. I'm trying to teach you about the responsibility of ministry. I'm trying to teach you that you know, you got to be careful if, if you're on a platform like this and you've got people that are strong in the Lord and you've got people that aren't so strong in the Lord. And they're all here on this chat. And this is why I have three strong moderators. And, you know, we got to make sure that we stay focused on the word and respectful that the word has given me the leader and the prophet that is called to this channel. And I ask you to just be respectful of that. And 
You know, you don't want to come in here with 50 million different things and a, a person that's not so strong in the Lord get led in confusion. And I say that with love. And the, this is, this is, listen, it's the church that's going to get judged first. The leaders of the church that are going to get judged first. And I have a responsibility here. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And you'll, you'll, you'll notice that most of what I gave you today uh, confirms with the prophetic words the Lord's already given us. Okay. And um, I just want to end this on a really happy, joyful note with all of you that um, we are just in a very special time, my friends, and God is bringing things clear and clear and clear. And what he wants more than anything is relationship with you. He wants you to draw near to him, right? And how do we draw near to God? This We're in a time, yes, all this is going out with President Trump and we're seeing the Kennedys, we're seeing all these things, right? But the main thing is the main thing. And that's a closer relationship with your father, God. And that's my responsibility, to help you draw near and closer to God, to draw near and closer to seek him for these things. And it, will he show you things for your own life? Absolutely. But he wants to walk with you. He wants to talk with you. He wants to have relationship with you. Does he want to show you what you're set aside for? Absolutely. Does he want to teach you how to lead? And does he want to give you your own flock as a good shepherd? We must look at the ways of Jesus Christ. Jesus showed us how to do it. Amen? And so I want you to research my website for these words that connect to this word today. Also, pray the acts of God's judgment prayer, uh, removing any seeds of discord. Okay? And if if 90% of your time is not about that joyful relationship you have with God, you need to take a look at everything that you're looking at. You know, what are you allowing into your household? What are you allowing into your eye gates? What are you allowing into your ear gates? Okay, who are you allowing to speak into your life? We're finding out that a lot of these truthers are actually Freemasons and Wolves in sheep's clothing. People we thought were good and we believed every word they said. <laughs> They're not in covenant with God. They're Freemasons. They're in covenant with Lucifer. So that's why I'm very, very careful. See, and so focusing on God and his word and communing with him and journaling with him. And I wasn't looking at anything with Trump and Kennedy. I wasn't listening to any truthers, any other prophets when he showed me the tartan. You understand? This is how he speaks. He will show you something. And then he will confirm it in his word. And then he'll connect it to what's going on right now. So that's why I was trying to show you the process of how God did this and how he spoke to me. Okay. And I say this with love. And I, I'm here to, to train up leaders. I want to train up good leaders, good shepherds that will lead in a strong way too. I don't want you to lead so much like me. I want you to lead like Jesus. I don't want to make cookie cutters of Anna Marie. I want to make cookie cutters of Jesus. <laughs> because we're supposed to be coming what? More in the image of Christ. That's the whole entire reason of everything. Just, just don't even think about Trump and Kennedy right now. Don't even think about any of that stuff. What is the main thing? And so we become more like Jesus Christ. 
we could become more of the likeness of Christ. And Jesus is all about what? The fruit. The fruit of what? Of the Holy Spirit. And he's all about us going out and what? Telling what? The good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And the main bloodline, which is the blood of Jesus, which we can receive and become new and born again. And we become of royalty. Amen. And we each have a great purpose in these days and times. Not just Trump, not just Kennedy, but each of us. And God will give us a truth. And he'll give us a flock. And what is his truth? His word. His word. Amen? Because we're living in great and glorious times of revival, of restoration, of restitution, to prepare the way of our coming King, King Jesus. And when you understand these covenants going all the way back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, you'll understand what our jobs are right now to do to prepare the way for our coming King. Amen. I love you all so much. To God be the glory. We love you, King Jesus, the good shepherd. Help us, King Jesus, to be good shepherds. And remember, he left the 99 for the one, a sheep. He didn't chase after the wolves that came into his pasture. You see, a lot of people say, they come in, they come into a church, they come into a ministry, they cause a little discord, and then they leave. Or you ask them to leave. And they say, wait a minute, you're supposed to love me. You're supposed to tolerate me. What about Jesus saying, he leaves the 99 sheep for the one. You're supposed to chase after me and try to bring me back. I say, no, I chase after sheep. I don't chase after wolves. Are you here to learn? Are you here to be led by the shepherd that God appointed to this ministry, which is me? Are you here to cause discord and lead the sheep against me? Or cause them to get distracted? Then you're a wolf. And I tell you bye-bye, and I don't chase after you. I pray for you. I'm not offended by you, but I give you back to God. And you should learn from this if you're called to lead as well. I love you, my friends. Remember, I love you. I want to protect you. I want to look out for you. I want to be a good shepherd for all of you. I bless you all in the name of Jesus. Strong leadership is okay. It's a good thing. Remember, all of heaven is cheering you on, and I'm cheering you on. Woohoo! The best is yet to come. The joy and the glory of God. Let's all become more of the image of Jesus Christ. Strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Focusing on his truth and his word. The king of glory is coming in. Hallelujah. The gates of righteousness is open. And Father God shall always fulfill his promises. Each one of us. Because he's good and he's faithful.